giving me wind and rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you kept me this night up You whip up my appetite Don't leave me in Spoke to them, 
and I told them, you know, during the time, I told them that, you know, this will be the biggest symphony orchestra to record the national anthem and I'm very honored to, uh, to work with you yet again after working with you in the past. So, what's up, Nebola? And then I said that I laughed and I told them that and after ruling us for, after you people ruled us for 200 years, this will be the best gift you can give to India. Of course, everybody laughed, and, but not laughed at me, but, you know, they all laughed in acknowledgement, you know. And that made them work very, very hard to give me the best product. Because they felt it, you know, that this is a gift that we have to give to Indians. And I felt it in their performance. Because I do not believe, I've worked with them so many times in the past, and I do not believe that uh, this kind of effort and this kind of quality I've ever gotten in the past. Because they really worked hard and they wanted to give this to 1.4 billion Indians. ताकि so, I believe that the music that is made right now in the Hindi film industry is extremely high quality. Uh, I believe that the production quality, the singers, the music, the beats, the production, the mixing, mastering, it's, it's parallel with everything. So, I, I do not believe that there is a dearth of quality. I think quality is absolutely stunning and even I listen to Bollywood music all the time. The only thing is that I would love to be a part of a, uh, of a Bollywood film if the film at the core of it is about a very strong social message. Because then I would resonate with it and then I would be able to, you know, uh, I would be able to give my best to the movie because it would be something that I absolutely believe in. So that is very important uh, for me. Uh, because uh, for me, what does not excite me is somebody paying me money and asking me to make music, you know, based on their sensibility. For me, what I, excites me more is that I have this idea that, you know, that I want to get this national anthem done by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and I go with all my might and I do this, you know. Or there is a social cause, like for example, a refugee crisis or there is a so there is an environmental cause, just a human and elephant conflict and uspar mein music bana So for me, these are the things that excite me a lot, you know, doing things which I feel very strongly about. Indian cinema, if you have collaborate with a maker, who will you collaborate with? Or who actor who will you collaborate with? It's very difficult for me to say because there are lots of them. Musicians, though, I can tell you a lot. Like, I've collaborated with Mr. Shankar Mahadevan many times. Uh, Salim Suleiman ji, they are almost like brothers to me. We've collaborated many times. So, there are lots of musicians like that. Aditya Narayan, Jonita Gandhi. I have collaborated with them. But uh, filmmakers, uh, it's difficult. Uh, it's, uh, it's difficult for me to uh, say. There are lots of them, actually. Because if I, there are one or two names come to my mind, but I don't want to say those names because I will be leaving out many other names. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ricky, for how long you have been uh, uh, planning? Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. So, for how long you have been uh, planning to uh, shoot this and uh, record the entire national anthem? And my second question is, how are you trying to uh, uh, get this to the root level in India? You know, where social media doesn't exist. So, for those people or over there, in connection with the government of India, maybe for that matter, or for social causes, how are you planning to take it? So, the planning of this has been about, uh, it's not been very long, it's been about three months. Uh, so, three months back is when I got the idea that we should be doing this and I should be doing this, and that is when I approached the orchestra and, you know, and came up with the score because it's very difficult to come up with that score because every musician needs a sheet in front of them, you know, of what to play. So, to write that score and to come up with it when everything comes together beautifully. Because until the orchestra plays it, you do not know how it's going to sound, you know, with all these musicians together. So that, uh, so that uh, took a while for me to actually write it and to understand that this is going to sound good. And then the experience of hearing the orchestra playing it to you is, is an experience which is unparalleled. Because you're in that room and the orchestra is playing your music back to you, whatever you've written. They're playing it back to you. That, that is like, a, uh, there is no way words to describe how amazing it feels to listen to 100 people playing it back to you in the same room. So that was, uh, uh, so it was three months to answer your question. The second thing about reaching to the grassroots, one thing is, uh, one way that I've answered it is that it's free for all. So anybody can use it for whatever purposes they want. And of course, I need the support of the, the press, you know, because at the end of the day, traditional media is what is most important when it comes to te television and print media. 
where to get uh, to get out to as many people as possible. Everybody's got mobile phones, so you know, sharing it on WhatsApp and all of that stuff because there's no restrictions for it, so anybody can share it however they want. So I'm just hoping that organically it reaches uh, every single person. So I just need help with that because, as I said, you know, there was no other entity involved in this. So the thing is that uh, so it's not like there is a major record label like a T series or anybody involved in it where you know where they can help me spread it out. So it's just it has to be organic, that's all. So I just need everybody's support for that. Ricky, your center. Uh, Rahul here from the Filmy Chacha. My question was that if someone thinks about music industry, then the first thing in the film industry is the first thing in the mind. Exactly. It's a shortcut, it's a fame, it's a limelight. So, in your mind, how did this culture and the national anthem stop this risk or what was it? What was it? I think, good question. Uh, so, I'm just wondering how to answer that. <laughs> So, that is true what you said, that uh, the film industry gives you fame, you know, that, that is there. Now the thing is that, I've got a lot of friends who are in the film industry, like, you know, musicians, very, very good musicians, very close friends and very good composers. Some of them are the top composers. Now the thing is that, every song that they make is either a love song or an item song. There are only two songs that uh, it predominantly that they are making. And these are people who speak about gender equality all the time and they genuinely believe in it. They genuinely from the heart believe that, you know, in gender equality, they believe in, uh, in uh, impacting society in a positive way and all of that stuff. But then sometimes they come up with an item song, you know, which is objectifying women and, uh, you know, which is showcasing women as, uh, you know, as items because that's the whole definition of an item song. And these things make me a little sad because at the end of the day, music is an art form, okay? Now, if you look at a... I'm sorry I'm digressing, but I'm trying to explain it. So if you look at an artist like uh, Vincent Van Gogh, who is a very, very popular artist and a contemporary artist, because he's not like an ancient artist. If he was making a new painting, if he wanted to make a new painting, then he won't go to all the neighboring art galleries and see what they're doing. Maybe I'll do this, what is the trend, what is the trend, what is the trend, and all that stuff. He would dig deep into his own soul, and he would make a piece of art which is representative of him. And if I wanted to know what kind of a person Vincent Van Gogh is in real life, I'm not going to read a book about him. I will see all the pictures of him and I will judge how he was a man. You know, a tormented man, a little weird man. You know, I'll judge his paintings and I'll do that. But right now, when it comes to musicians in India, everybody's dream is that as soon as I become a musician, I have to do Bollywood. When I say to people that I am a composer, the first question is, who is it? You know, so this is in India. And that is why all the music in India is basically, or not all, but most of the music in India is basically either a love song or an item song. And I think that these good composers, good human beings, genuinely they are very, very good people, they are not listening to their own music. They are not the kind of people who sit down at home and listen to their own music. You know, because they, because they are not the kind of people who will listen to an item song, you know. So that has, to, I feel that in some way that has to change. And for me, the reason why a lot of people ask me that, Aray, thoda sa fame aa jayega, you know, if you do Bollywood, and then your songs also will get uplifted. But I do not believe that. Because many times, like, uh, uh, if you look at a composer like uh, Vishal Dadla, okay, Vishal, a very good friend of mine, a, a fantastic human being, a really, really good person. So, and he's been, I've known him so, for the last 23, 24 years. Now, he does Bollywood music, but Bollywood music is far more popular than, the, than his pentagram music or his music that he does from the heart, which is all about social messages. People know him only that. And if he performs his pentagram music, people in the audience shout that, Shila ki jawani karo, you know, ye sab karo, you know. So that, so basically what I'm trying to say is that I would rather be very less known for songs that define me as a person rather than being extremely well known for songs that do not define me as a person. So that's it. Uh, uh, hi, uh, Vicky ji, mera sawal aap se hai. Uh, hi. Yeah, hi, hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, आपने अभी काफी कुछ म्यूजिक के बारे में कहा म्यूजिक के ओरिजिनेटी के बारे में कहा और मैं सिर्फ ये जानना है आपसे कि आपने जो नेशनल एंथम जो आपने ये किया है बहुत बढ़िया है और बहुत अच्छा है और मैं सिर्फ ये जानना चाहता हूँ क्या कुछ आप क्योंकि देखिए जैसे देशभक्ति आती तो हम पंद्रह अगस्त को 
देशभक्ति या वो सब चीजें रहनी चाहिए तो ऐसा कुछ क्या कुछ सोचते हैं आप इस बारे में और यूथ को क्या मैसेज देना चाहेंगे क्योंकि आपने आपका ये जो कदम है ये भी एक उसी खोद है यूथ को क्या मैसेज देना चाहेंगे आप तो आई बिलीव दैट वॉट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वो हो रहा है अभी like you know people are feeling feeling pride about our, our own inherent culture people are feeling pride about being uh, indian and that's happening all over the world it's not just with us it's also happening with the indian diaspora because i go everywhere my music is predominantly indian and i see that i'm able to perform my music anywhere in the world you know to audiences everywhere like for example i recently performed at the world health organization the who headquarters in geneva there was not a single indian person in the audience it was just you know people from all over the world mainly europe and america and australia and africa all these countries and our entire set from beginning to end was in indian languages and it was indian music and even that was very very appreciated so the thing is that i think people all over the world are appreciating uh, indian art and uh, because i can only speak about art right now but in uh, they are appreciating indian art and at the same time indian artists are feeling proud to be indian artists so that is happening right now because uh, uh, like where is it sound coming in there's a mic i think that is on anyway so so that is uh, so that is happening and you know and i perform with a lot of indian musicians and i travel with them all over the world like mera ek khatam player hai tabla player hai sitar player hai flute player hai jo mere sath pure i mean that we travel around the world doing concerts and these musicians have become so busy in the last 2 to 3 years because they're not just performing with me they're performing with other international artists everywhere in the world some with jazz musicians with pop musicians with other musicians all over the world so that is happening you know this pride of being indian that is happening it's just that we have to accelerate it wo thoda jaldi karna padega because it's happening slowly it's moving in the right direction but we have to accelerate it and lastly what's next for your side of this sochiye aap karne ka kuch aage hai Yeah, of course. So I've got another album that is releasing on the 18th of August, uh, an album called Police Beyond Borders. Uh, so that uh, I mean that it's basically uh, there is a band, uh, the, the Police, which is uh, one of the greatest bands in in the history of rock and roll music. So unka a drummer and the founder of the band, Stuart Copeland. Uh, I collaborated with him on my previous album, Divine Tides, which won two Grammy awards. Now this is this album is another collaboration with him. so that album again with a lot of indian music a lot of indian languages and uh, this album will be releasing on the uh, 18th of august uh hi sir is aapka swagat hai india mein na main to yahi par rehta hu swagat hai mumbai mein aage baat kare grammy award ki aur pehle ek indian hai jinhone lagata teen grammy award jeete hain पहले मैं मैं दूसरा इंडियन हूँ पंडित रविशंकर ने भी तीन जीता है लेकिन मैं नहीं नहीं उनको भी तीन ग्रामी अवार्ड मिले हैं लेकिन मैं फर्स्ट इंडियन तो वही थे वही है वही हंड्रेड परसेंट तो हर एक नेशनल एंथम सभी इंडियंस के लिए कुछ दोनों होता है करेक्ट और जिस तरीके से आपने ये अभी नेशनल एंथम बनाया लग रहा है की चौदह तारीख को जब रिलीज होगा तो पूरा इंडिया साथ साथ ब्रिटेन में अदर देश में देखा जाएगा तो आपको क्या लगता है 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 कितने लोग तक ये चीज़ इट्स वेरी बहुत मुश्किल बोलने के लिए कि कितना रीच होगा बिकॉज़ अगेन यू नो हमारा कोई 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 मीडिया प्लान नहीं 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 हमारा कोई सपोर्ट नहीं है, कोई बड़ा लेबल के साथ और यू नो टेलीविजन के साथ 